Have you ever dreamed of a world with pirates that have a certain affinity towards ripping open your jugular in order to get a taste for that sweet, sweet nectar of life? Mmm, so good and tasty. Neither have I, but today we're both getting what we didn't ask for because we're going to be taking everyone on with the power of gunpowder, giant mutated crustaceans, and an ethereal death ship summoned from the ground, destroying everything in its path. The Lord we're going to be playing as today is Silostra Diaphin, a see-through failed opera singer turned psychotic vampire pirate fleet admiral. She has a whole bunch of magical abilities like, get this, to summon a kraken from the ground to swallow up hordes of the enemy in an instant. Oh, and she also has a fan on her at all times too, because apparently ethereal beings can get kind of hot sometimes. Extra now, as always, I like to make my relaxing Friday afternoon Warhammer gaming sessions resemble something that can only be described as being borderline identical to Chinese water torture. Why? Because it gets more views. So, I have placed the following restrictions on this campaign. 1. I can't recruit any infantry units at all. That means everyone in this troop tree is about as useful to us as a wheelchair with pedals. And two, I can only fight battles with Silostra Diaphin's army. So if you don't like Susan Boyle, then I guess you're just shit out of luck. If you guys want to be a part of the coolest, most exclusive club ever, then come and join the Warband. Hit the subscribe button and join the fucking Discord. Seriously, we're having so much fun in there. You're missing out on so much if you don't join. All right, all right, enough of all that. Vampire Coast campaign, let's roll. So the goal for this campaign is to achieve a short victory with Silostra. That means getting 30 settlements and also gaining the first sea shanty verse. So you can see here, the Vampire Coast has the mechanic of infamy. So as you level up and you do things throughout the campaign, you'll gain infamy from that. And you can see we're 14th now. So we're at the bottom of the Vampire Coast list. And the first sea shanty verse verse is at tier 7. So that's the goal. Let's go. All of these guys right here, we are disbanding straight away. Oh man, that hurts. Essentially, we're going to be almost entirely ranged units, at least towards the start, before we can work our way up to getting some of these monsters to fill in for that infantry role. And eventually, we can make a full 20 doom stack of the Necrofex Colossus, which is the strongest unit within this whole entire Vampire Coast lineup. All right. So we only have four units of gunnery mobs, which completely suck. That's going to be really hard to take on. So we're going to have to come back here to just give ourselves some time to get some more units. Oh, another cool mechanic for the vampire pirates is the ship mechanic. Now, the ship mechanic basically means that Silostra is a walking settlement. As opposed to leveling all of the settlements that we capture up like this, essentially Silostra can walk around yeah. even in enemy territory and still recruit units as if you're doing so from a settlement. Oh, and she can also raise the dead to get units instantly. Talk about being overpowered. Now, the only time we're going to be able to use infantry is when they're inside garrisons because we obviously can't control that. Yes, thank you very much. Easy. First fight done. Okay, Silostra, you can now recruit people. Wow, look at that. I forgot to hire troops. Of course, I forgot to hire troops. Oh my God, it doesn't matter. It actually doesn't matter. All right, run, Silostra. Let's start making our way downtown. So as you can see, Silostra has now just got her own little vampire camp everywhere she goes, and you can recruit units wherever you want. Now, the handgun versions of the gunnery mob is going to be a whole lot better than the normal regular version of the gunnery mob because range is going to be king in this campaign. We cannot let the army get to us. All right, we should be able to take these guys out. No worries. And we've got our first province. Yay. Now, I've forgotten to do the most important thing you should always do in a campaign, and that is renaming your hero. Uh, that's for my One Piece fans out there. The things that we want primarily from Silostra Diaphin is Van Geist 
Christ's Revenge, which is literally just summoning a ship, and the Kraken's Pull, which is also summoning a Kraken. So they're both extremely overpowered. Here we have the slightly obese opera singer versus that weird emo chick that stays in the corner of the classroom. Mortars and long range artillery is gonna be extremely important for us this campaign. So, all right, we're shooting. We are shooting, man. Awesome. Look at this armor piercing damage going on. And let's use that. All right, a nice little wave. <laughs> Oh man, Silostra's abilities are just great. Oh, she also has this, where we can just summon a random group of cavalry. Ethereal cavalry, that is. I mean, look at that water ball out of nowhere. Straight charge on these units over here, and you guys can go and take out them. Where's the mongrels? Mongols? Mongols. I'm going to keep saying that wrong every time. We only lost 90 men, and they lost a lot. <laughs> All right, second province captured. This one's probably going to be important for us because we're going to be able to get the Necrofex Colossus, which is the best unit. These might be kind of strong, but these guys are right here, so we should probably go to war with them. All right, so I want to entice these guys into trying to march on us, so we're going to declare war on these guys. And hopefully they, they being the dumbass Dark Elves, march their ass over here, and we don't have to take on that huge... Actually, it's not even that big, but hopefully we can do it separately. Oh no, we have another war. We just declared war. Yes, they did it. They did exactly what I wanted them to. Another battle versus the emos. Let's go. All right, let's 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 zoom in on the power of the awesome gunpowder. Oh! <laughs> oh damn, we're already shooting at them. This is going well. This is going well. Oh damn, these guys got to get back. If they die, we're fucked. See, our units are surviving a lot longer than you think we would. Fat man, come on. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at that. Just decimated two of their strongest units. Just like that. What in the name of Total War is this? The units that we have on our roster are insane. These guys, the Mongols, are just half giant zombie creatures that crawl out from the ground and destroy you. Look at the jaw just dangling there like freaking a ball sack or something oh my and it's drooling too yes yeah, i lost you you need to you need to start lifting your weight literally peace <laughs> no thank you emo okay so we're at war with the dark elves and we're at war with the high elves so the rough plan is to take this last remaining province and then wrap around and take the rest of the broken lands and put those high elves into some much needed rehabilitation. I mean, aside from being possibly one of the most annoying characters in all of Total Warhammer 3, her character design is actually pretty cool. Why is this guy just chilling up here by himself? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is how we've set up. We've got a little uh, choke point going on here. Basically, every battle is gonna be a range-focused battle because we have things like mortars and the carronades. Yeah, so we're gonna get a whole bunch of damage off and every faction usually is gonna be forced to charge us, even if we engage a battle because they're not just gonna stand there and take all these hits. All right, let's see this portable nuke. <laughs> All right, firemen. That is the most horrifying thing I have ever seen. Oh my God, man. Can you imagine? Jesus, 120 kills for the uh, Taliban enthusiast. Oh, look at that. We've gone up to rank 12 for infamy. Ah, moving up in the world. Moving up in the world. Denzians of the Deep. That is going to be the next summoning spell that Silostra Diaphin has. And essentially, this spell summons a bunch of giant mutated crabs who want nothing more than to slowly peel away your skin with their extremely sharp pincers. Oh yes, we can finally get mortars. Thank you. That's exactly what we wanted. All right, peace treaty with these guys and let them pay us two grand. And we can actually get more. Let's just load up on mortars. Why not? Let's do it. This is going to be beautiful. Oh, Dickie's about to die. <laughs> oh no, we got some meth head freaking skaven rat that's about to kill our only lord who just traveled like literally two years of his life wasted to travel over here just to get met with an entire army of mutated rats well unfortunately dicky you're gonna die you know what i'm gonna fight this just to test the mortars out because we got four new mortars baby oh they're firing here we go oh yeah <laughs> Oh, that is beautiful. 
Oh, this is going to be a fun campaign. Pure destruction. All right, we've got another settlement. So we can get a non-aggression pact with Malekith. So that should make our borders a bit safer. A valiant defeat. All right, Galadriel. Let's see about that. They have so many ranged units. A new ability now. We can summon mutated crustaceans to kill our enemies now. Look at this. <laughs> another giant wave. Oh, good, Salastra. All right, sorry about that, Galadriel, but uh, we murdered you. Oh, man. These guys came straight to us. We've killed Galadriel, and Elrond has come to avenge her. This unit is fucked. <laughs> oh, my. That's just not even fair. Oh, my God. We have no more units left. This is insane. There are so many units, man. Oh my God. All right, we have the giant crabs. They're meeting business right now. That's good. Silostra is completely surrounded, which is also not good. We should probably do something about that. All right, we need more crustaceans, please. <laughs> These summoning abilities have come in so handy for us. Oh, that was a hard battle right there oh my god so many of our units just got wiped out you know what let's fight it let's fight it i reckon we can do better than a pyrrhic man on the mortars do your freaking job why are you dripping wet uh whoops a giant eagle is destroying our mortars right now oh my god that's my bad how did i not see that oh my god i didn't even realize all of my men died holy shit we desperately need some type of monster unit to hold the front lines we're getting so many losses and we just won five thousand dollars and we've gone up in our infamy. We're now 10th. We're getting so much closer to the first sea shanty. This right here is my favorite thing. So unfortunately for us, even if we win every single battle, it's going to take a lot of time for us to actually finish this campaign because we have to fight every battle with just Silostra Diophin's army herself. So this is taking way longer than it should. Okay, what do we want here? The reckless advance, consolidating our power. Power. Look, this is definitely the more responsible choice, and this is the one that we should probably go with. On the other hand, recklessly pushing on and just blitzkrieg the enemy. So let's go with that, the reckless advance. Silostra is already level 15. I mean, I know we've fought every battle with her, but that's kind of crazy. Oh, we can recruit a lot more. Oh, shit. I didn't see this. Animated hulks. There we go. We're going to get them a turn early. We now have some type of front line that's not just ranged units. I am loving the utter destruction we are causing right now. Oh, here we go. You see that, man? You're deaf. Oh, yes. There we go. The mortars are doing what they should be. These guys have grown some balls and uh, they've actually come back to attack me. So we just lost this castle, but we're going to come back with a vengeance. Oh my God, they just raised it. Those bastards, man, they didn't even take it. Okay, so despite having something like an extra 10 units in their garrison, the High Elves have decided to walk out of the reinforcement range and take me head on. Uh, you can always count on the complete lack of brain cells from Total War's AI. Okay, can we just talk about these new units that we've got for a minute? Because what the hell are they? Oh my god, the destruction is just insane. I need to do an artillery only challenge. And soon, I think. Look at this charge we're about to get off here. And yep, that seems like it's been pretty effective. <laughs> Oh my god, look at these guys fly, man. Holy shit. Oh my god. So although we can recruit a lot of units stupidly quickly, we also lose a lot. Like right there, we lost one, two, three, four, five whole entire units. We're going to occupy that. Now we have this whole plot of land over here and we've moved up to rank 10 on the infamy charts. All right, we've now got all of this land over here. If we check the objectives, the victory conditions, we're a third of the way there. So yeah, maybe we just start a war with the wood elf factions now because we've decimated the high elf factions so oh my god <laughs> silostra got a new mount clearly quite honestly that is ridiculous but we'll leave it to her and the morgul weird ethereal being is sailing on a ship <laughs> 
I don't know why that's funny. I just can't imagine this guy being on a ship. I think it is time. It's time for Susan Boyle to declare war on the Wood Elves. All right, we strike first blood. And the next thing we're gonna get is the Kraken's Pull. Yes, please. All right, where's Queen Bess? Queen Bessie, let's get her. Oh shit, look at that animation. All right, Queen Bess, there she is. God damn. We're gonna rip them apart. We're gonna see if we can take these guys out in one fell swoop because honestly, fuck it. I wanna test the Queen Bess out. Oh my God, look at that giant crab. <laughs> I'm never gonna get used to that. Oh, it thinks we're gonna win. All right, that's a change. We're so fighting this though. We wanna see Queen Bess. And a word of warning, I'm gonna be calling it Bessie from now on. Now, I think this is actually good for us because they probably won't attack us. I'll probably just sit back and get bombed to oblivion. Oh, here we go. These dryads, these little tree men. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Just pure death, man. Like, this unit's already pretty much broken. Look at these trees, these helpless little trees running for their lives right now. They can't do a freaking thing, man. Oh my, I mean, I don't blame them. Okay, so just like that, we win our first battle against the Twilight Sisters. We're gonna upgrade the Kraken's Pool and Vengheist Revenge. Our money situation could be a bit better. The one we wanna build is this one right here, which we just can't build. Ah! But essentially, as you can see here, the income gained from this settlement, we get 50% of it. That's gonna be absolutely insane. If we can start to establish at least a couple of these in some pretty high earning settlements. All right, time to raise this to the ground. All right, we won. Let's raise it. We're gonna get 13K for that. Where's our pirate cove? Bang, one turn for that. And he just keeps leveling up, man. We're making Edward Newgate, Whitebeard, freaking dangerous, man. We're gonna take all of this land and all of the ports here and set up some pirate coves probably around here. We're making $600. That is good. <laughs> oh shit, these guys declared war on me. That's not good. I think we can win this because we have so many freaking mortars. Oh. Oh, just like that. Holy shit. That's one round and they're already shaking. I mean, at this point, this is pretty much just become an artillery only challenge and I'm not complaining. Oh my God. Look at that health bar. Just go down. All right. Let's just watch the almighty ship rain hell upon these freaking. Oh my God. Look at that. That is just the coolest move ever, man. Oh my God. God, that ship has single-handedly brought Silostra's kills up from like 40 to like 100. And after that battle, we are now halfway to our final goal of 30 settlements captured. Your skull shall be removed slowly in the most painful way possible. Okay, nice to meet you too. You know, one good thing about only being able to use Silostra is that we don't have to worry about loyalty. I mean, we have just completely decimated these freaking sisters, man. Take another province from them. Oh my God, that was their last province. I thought they earned, no, that's not them down here. Famous opera singer versus a guy who really hates the color red. Oh, I feel so sorry for these guys. Look at their tiny little wooden shields. Like it's gonna help them from freaking Queen Bess. Oh my God. Here's my presence to you, just death. That's, that's really all I got to offer. Oh my God. I just want to see what it'd be like if I was one of these guys. Oh yeah, I got, got their little shield. <laughs> yeah, I probably wouldn't want to be one of these guys. And here we have giant tentacles that spawn from the ground that drag you down to the very depths of hell. Oh my God. That's what you want to see. Close victory. Get out of here. We only lost 100 men. How is that a close victory? Silostra has finally shown up to this campaign. She's got 380 kills. She actually did well. So now we have got all of the obsidian peaks, basically. Oh my God, man. This is not going to be fun. They have 320 stack armies. What am I going to do? Oh man, it'd be nice to have another army. But we can't. <sighs> but we can't. Do they declare war on me? Oh my God. Can they reach me? All right, Silostra, let's go. Silostra is just destroying these people right now. Oh my God. And let's blow these guys. Don't say that too quickly. Giant wave, here we go. Oh my God, that's some Voldemort looking shit. <laughs> Oh my, we are causing absolute mayhem with Silostra over here. Look at Silostra just riding a giant freaking crab right here. And she's hovering on it. Like she's not even riding it. She's just floating on top of a giant crab. We only lost a hundred men, only 100 men. And that was a close victory, it thinks. 
Okay, so that's one of the 320 stack armies taken out. A gunnery right. That's what I need. We're now one tier away from that first sea shanty, baby. Only need another 2,000 infamy. All right, easy. Another province. Done. Captured. The rotting Prometheans we could get this turn. That would really help us out, actually. So we're actually going to do that. Okay, so I think we can entice Malekith to join the war against the Daughters of the Forest with us. All right, we've done it. We have done it. Hopefully that helps us out or at least distract some of the daughters of the forest armies for us hey when you can only use one army you got to do what you got to do all right so Lustra has now got the ability to get rotting prometheans how about we don't control the large army because they have a lot more men than us we don't even care all right don't judge me for it i'm kind of proud of the setup that i've got here i reckon i reckon we can do bits with this setup oh those guys are gonna get destroyed look at that Oh, I didn't see these guys. All right, run them down, buddy. A nice little giant wave from Silostra. Oh, yes. Okay, so with that victory, we have now taken out most of the armies from the Daughters of the Forest. So they should be pretty easy to sweep up. Nope. Oh, my God. Old mate came back. I don't know where he came from, I'll be honest. What the hell? Why does he have, like, all these boosts? Look at this. He has all these boosts, and we have all these negatives all right this is how we're setting up in the forest we've got all the uh mortars back here oh my god there's a lot of them all right get a nice line in there also some crustaceans would be good and honestly get that right there all right this ship is going to charge through their entire army oh no it went the wrong way oh no it went the wrong way we're going to shoot our own troops what the hell is that what the fuck we took out one of our own units. No, I did not aim it that way. That's some bullshit. This bear loses health so quickly. It's not even funny. The warriors are rallying, apparently. Silostra's so dying over here. Put that wave over here. Oh my god, this is an intense fight. This guy has still got a shit ton of health. That's the problem. He's on 6,000 health. Silostra's so only on 200. Oh my. Silostra so is close to death right now. Shoot him in the back. He's running. He's fleeing. Oh my god, we actually won. Oh my god, what a battle. That took a toll on me. Oh my, our whole army's basically dead after that. Silostra so coming in with 228 kills. So I've just won a Steam achievement where you win a battle where you're outnumbered 10 to 1. Silostra so Diaphin is now wounded which puts us in a bit of a weird spot because now we can't use the other armies. I suppose... We're gonna have to, we don't really, we can't do anything. All right, over here, we can actually establish this pirate cove. So we'll be getting 860 per turn. All right, Silostra is back. So we accidentally trespassed against the Dark Elves without me noticing. So we're gonna give him a small gift here just because we cannot afford to go to war with Malekith right now. We would get wiped out. The Legion of Chaos wants a peace treaty. $5,000, 100%, man. All right, so we've had a couple of losses to the Daughters of the Forest so far, but it's not in vain because our main army is getting stronger and soon we'll come down and we will will wipe them out. Getting the Dark Elves to join this war with us has helped us out a whole bunch. Now these guys are surrounded and they've got the Dark Elves coming around here. A decisive victory, low casualties. There we go. These guys have just declared war on us. Wow. All right, there's nothing much we can do here. We just got to accept defeat, I think. We have an enemy behind us. It's time to finally kill this pain in our ass. I hate this chick so much. Look at this cheese, this bullshit. We're only going to get a Pyrrhic victory here because of all of these freaking buffs she has. I don't even care. I'm not fighting it. It is so annoying fighting her. Look at the amount of losses we just took. So the main problem that we are going to have right now is that we can't defend our borders and we can't attack at the same time. We have to do everything with one army and it's just Silostra's army. We have the right amount of money now. We can establish that pirate cove. Oh, we have now become seventh. So we need to get the sea shanty verse, which is over here. That is ages away. Oh my God, these guys are relentless. They are actually relentless. Now these guys want a peace treaty. Get the hell out of here. Oh my God, these guys came over out of nowhere. Really? All right, at least Silostra's in the right part of the world. Oh my god, Malekith might help us here. 
If Malekith can ride in and just destroy these armies, that would be great. Oh, fuck me. They just took our main province. Oh, yes, Malekith is doing that. He's sending all these forces here. Oh, my God, another army? These fucking elves, man. Oh, shit. All right, Legions of Chaos have declared war on us. Okay, we are at war with way, way too many people. Ooh, they already lost the battle against Malekith. That is good, and they didn't take that. Our empire is being eaten from within. We have so many battles and so many things popping up. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to be able to do it with just our lost She's all the way over here. She hasn't even got to participate in any of the fights happening over here. But I feel like even if she would get her there, she's going to get killed very quickly. I don't know how we're going to actually get out of this. Well, well, what do you know? Just when we do not need it at all, another enemy appears on our shores and we lose another piece of land. These guys are going to pay us $7,500 for a peace treaty. We're, we're going to take that. We're in dire straits right now. We don't have the required manpower to do much. We're about to lose another piece of land. What's new? Oh my God, this guy's come to us. Oh my God, we have enemies everywhere right now. We can't do a thing. Let's see how we go. Can we win if we attack these guys? A close victory with medium casualties. We're gonna take that. Oh my God, Silostra strikes back for the first time. Oh my God, this army is crazy. This campaign has just gone so wrong so fast we have enemies everywhere we look i think our only saving grace now is the necrofex colossus give me three thousand dollars they've accepted it look how many people we're at war with all right this is going to take one turn it's going to cost us twenty thousand dollars but we're going to be able to recruit these guys the necrofex colossus after that our last saving grace for this whole entire campaign is the necrofex colossus we have now got the maximum tier 5 great cabin which means the upkeep goes down by 20 percent and we also get to unlock that which is going to cost us 10k the necrofex colossus there it is 1200 dollars and we're going to sit here and we're going to recruit as many necrofex colossus as we can things are heating up boys things are heating up this is the only way I can see us pulling this back. Oh, wow. We're actually going to win this. Awesome. Heroic victory. There we go. Look at that. Look at all the land we've lost. We've lost so much land. All right. We can get that in this turn. And that's what we're going to do. Our first bit of land back. Just get rid of them and recruit another two Necrofex. That's the go-to plan here. Oh my God, no. These guys are coming down there too. We have one more turn until we have eight Necrofex Colossus, and then we can definitely move out and start to fight. We should probably march this way. Yeah, let's do it. We're gonna get a province straight away, and they're gonna attack us the next turn. All right, we've got another province. These guys just have cannons and mortars. What the hell? We are approaching turn 100, so this campaign is taking so long. We have captured slash raised 20 out of the 30 total settlements. So we got another 10 to go, and I think the way we're going to have to approach things now is by raising or sacking settlements. Our Pirate Cove income is more... It's more than our own building income. It's almost double. Wow. That's going to be so lame. We're going to win this just by auto resolving it. We're going to win the sea shanty, but hey, a heroic victory. We can't not take that. There we go. We've got the first sea shanty. So that means our reload skill is going to go up by 20% and our melee defense by 20% too. Let's destroy these guys. Okay, thank you for that. And we're going to raise it. So essentially, we have given up on owning basically any land. Oh my god, we're about to get five Necrofex Colossus in one turn. Bessie, you've got to go, unfortunately. And with old Bessie out, a Necrofex comes right in. And now we basically have a 20 Doom stack of Necrofex Colossus. Our original capital. We're burning everything to the ground, baby. Three more pieces of land, and the short victory will be ours. Should we just go and invade the elves? You know what? Let's just do that. Let's do it. We're teleporting there. There's not a chance we get a crushing defeat here. This is the coolest map ever. Oh my god, we just destroyed the freaking... <laughs> is that supposed to happen if we destroy that tower? These guys are tier 5 units. Oh my god, look at this gameplay, man. Like... Oh! <laughs> oh. Let me see what these guys look like up close. Just destroying people. 
This would be terrifying. How would you even charge these guys, man? <laughs> yeah, let's use some waves there too. Oh my God, these guys are getting literally demolished. And you guys can come over here too. Oh, they have reinforcements. That's not good. All right, these flying hippogriffs got fucked up. They have so many units over here. Holy shit. This is going very well, very well indeed. All right, that unit's gonna get destroyed. Oh my. All right, decisive victory. Look at that. That is more like it. Holy shit, only 10 losses. And they lost about 1,500 men. There we go, I can recruit the Gallows Necrofex Colossus. Recruit. Oh shit, baby. These guys will get crushed by us, honestly. Oh, they're actually fighting us. All right, let's take a, a quick look at the Gallows Giant. It doesn't look too much different. Oh, shit. All right. Target that thing. Monster killer. That's not good. What the hell is it doing? Oh, my God. The gallows. The gallows is going to die. The gallows just died. That's not good. What a letdown from uh, from the gallows. Silostra has leveled up more. Go down here and get the black flag. Go and destroy these guys. Pyrrhic victory. You know what? It doesn't matter. One turn and we can get that unit back. But we only need another two provinces so i'm thinking these two right here and we can finally call this campaign quits it's taken a long freaking time man these guys have moved down here okay although we could probably take that this turn why don't we do that why don't we just do that we're going to do it salastra just got 100 kills there very nice this is broken 20 stack of Necrofex Colossus is utterly broken, man. Like, they can't do a single thing to us right now. Somehow we get these guys. Like, what do they just spawn? I don't know what is going on. I'm just enjoying picking which enemy we're going to absolutely obliterate next. We lost no one. <laughs> and with that victory, we only need one more piece of land captured for a short victory. We got to be so careful of that army. We could probably colonize that. Yeah, let's colonize it so we can uh, heal up a little bit. The final battle of the campaign. A valiant defeat, it thinks. I would disagree. The battle of Tor and Lek. Okay, the ship has to work here. It has to work. Oh, come on. Let's see this beautiful ship. This should get so many kills right now. So, Lostra, 41. 41. It got 100 kills. Yes, please, Silostra. Yes, freaking please. A nice Kraken's pull will do nicely there too. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Silostra. Good. And another one. My computer is lagging. Oh, my God. There's so much shit happening at once right now. Oh, my God. I think there is units are doing all right. Yeah, it looks like they're going all right. These archery units over here are fucked. Oh, my God. Look at the bodies fly. All right. Let's get these units and let's just shoot the living shit out of them now all right let's go and have a look at what's happening over here i think we're going all right how's that ship gonna do two units there it should murder them so Lostra has turned it up this fight all right we've captured that walk up there i think she's stuck is she stuck is that what's happening she's literally stuck she can't do anything all right there we go we won. The Necrofex Colossus units just went absolutely off, man. So did Silostra. She showed up for that final battle. Only lost 25 units. We killed 2,300. The full stack army of Necrofex Colossuses. That gets the tick of approval. And with that final battle, we have now gained a short victory. All right, I've been recording for way too long. So if you made it this far, then just freaking subscribe. I've got to get off this game. See you in the next one.